the Hall at the Titan Gym here in Fullerton, USA, in California, the Golden State, as they call it. Just a short drive from where the Oscars are handed out, and we've got a stellar cast of our own here today on semi-finals day of the US Open, part of the 2018 HSBC BWF Tour. And play will get underway very shortly. We're showing you six semi-finals this afternoon. Local time here in California. Just gone 1 p.m. on Saturday afternoon. And the events of the season divided up into these various categories. There are 11 Super 300 tournaments. And that's what this is. This gym was built in 1964. It was renovated just over a decade ago. And there's room for some 4,000 spectators. That grand final on there, you see, by the way, is in Guangzhou in December. The top eight from the five different categories will qualify for those grand finals, which you can, of course, see live right here. This is where we're going. Uh, the Far East again, Malaysia, Indonesia, and so forth. Uh, and, of course, the French Open. We do go back to Europe, France, and Denmark coming up in October. The China Open is always a big event, of course. Uh, September, as you can see, very busy. October as well. Uh, the Korea Masters is kind of a warm-up event before those World Tour Finals in China just a couple of weeks before Christmas. Very busy calendar on the BWF Tour, as you would expect. And here's what we have for you this afternoon. The unseeded Indian, AJ Jayaram, takes on Dutchman Mark Collier in the men's singles. Then we bring you both women's semis. First, it's top seed, Beiwen Chang, against 21-year-old Japanese Aya Ohori, the defending champion. And that's followed by Michelle Lee, who lost in that final to Ohori against the 2012 Olympic gold medalist, Lee Shire. Then we spotlight the doubles. The number one seeds from Japan take on Jiong and Yeong from Korea in the women's event. After that, we focus on the mixed uh, Malaysian-German battle. Soon and Ling, by the way, won the bronze at this year's Commonwealth Games. And the finale is a men's doubles clash between two unseeded pairs, Kang and Ho from Korea against Hoshu and Yakura of Canada. So it should be a hugely entertaining afternoon's badminton. Crowd's been building up for the last uh, half an hour or so. It's a massive complex, the California State University, known as Cal State. It has around 40,000 students on the campus, which is more than any other university in the state. And here's how the men's singles has panned out. We're focusing, as mentioned, on that bottom semi-final. Uh, both Jayaram and his opponent, Akolyao, coming through in straight games yesterday in their quarterfinals. Kalio in particular, uh, a bloodless victory over the qualifier Sheng for the loss of just 16 points, as you saw there. And some famous pupils in this uh, part of the world. Kevin Costner was a student here at Cal State, and so was Tracy Caldwell Dyson, a space shuttle astronaut who made three trips into space. So the officials just being brought out ahead of the players. Philip A. Young Chi from the United States will be the chair umpire and the line judge is coming out as well. We will have play on two ports today. Of course, 10 semi-finals in total. And therefore, even the less mathematically gifted amongst you can work out, we'll have five finals tomorrow. But we're concentrating on number one court, our TV court. See our cameramen there, ready to bring you all the action. So here's uh, Ajay Jayaram from India. 30 years of age now. And we've got the flag bearer as well, for good measure. And Mark Kalyao following on behind. 
from the Netherlands. Seven years, uh, JRM's junior, but he is really fit, the Indian. Seen him several times on tour so far this year. So we're just getting ready for the handshake with the chair umpire and service judge waiting to greet the players. There you see JRAM leads 2-0 in their previous meetings. If you are new to badminton, they'll have a very short knock-up, usually around a couple of minutes, that's all. Just to get used to any drift that there might be in the in the hall here. Six foot, he's a big man, Kaliao. Ranked 30 in the world, that is his best ranking. He's won eight of his 12 matches this year. And he's the current Dutch national champion. In fact, he won it last year and retained it a few months ago. So he's in form. Seeded six at this tournament, so purely in terms of the seedings, he is the favourite. There's how he's progressed, had that three-set or three-game battle with uh, Kolyanen in the second round, but other than that, he's progressed pretty serenely. That quarter-final took just 23 minutes, so that wouldn't have taken too much out of him, he wouldn't have thought. And his opponent, AJ Jayaram, 30 years of age now. I wouldn't take too much notice of that 134 ranking. He was inside the world's top 15, as you can see. That was only a year ago. Had various injuries, so he hasn't played didn't play much the back end of last season. He's won five of his nine matches this year. He's actually won a couple of Dutch Open titles and twice been runner-up in that tournament. He also had a fairly straightforward passage in the quarter-final, as you can see, against Hyo Kwang Yi, 18 and 12 in just half an hour. Suspect we, we might be in for a bit of a battle in this match. Not too much to choose between them on form. The Indian needs two love, as we saw on the head-to-head, -head, but that doesn't always mean anything, past performance and all that. There's our umpire from the USA. And he will be assisted by service judge Lena Engel. And she's from Germany. She's ever smiling, <laughs> Lena Engel. So, last preparations. From JRM, just a bit of powder on the hand. We'll be set for action at stake, a place in tomorrow's final. First prize for the singles here is more than $11,000 US um, and also 7,000 ranking points, which just as important in their own way. So, JRAM to get us started. Serving from this near end. Oh, 
straight away misjudging that. There, there is a slight drift, but the drift is going from front to back as you look at the screen. <laughs> well, I think that there was almost a touch of annoyance in that, that he made the error of judgment initially. Gave that very short shrift. Both naturally attacking players, these two. I can't see we'll be in for too many 50-stroke rallies, but been wrong before. Once again, perfect placement on the overhead from the Indian. Two, to try and win one. The, point at the earliest possible opportunity, Jairam. Yeah, that's a lovely touch. I think his tactics are going to be just to try and move the Indian around the court. Two, all. Those little drop shots and then push him to the back of the court. To clear. Fault. And he can hit the mean overhead too, as you just saw. Three. Two. Yeah, just had lightning fast reactions there, Kelly out. Set up the easy kill in the end. Mark. The shot that preceded the the winner Four, that was the key to that rally, two. as we suspected, pretty short points so far. It's good. Service over. Three, four. Just had to take a, a little bit off that with the drift. Fault. Service fault called. From front to back. Too high. And that's the first service fault, too high. Service over. Lena Engel, Five, the judge. Three. With that um, little piece of specialist equipment in front of her that you see on the left hand side of your screen there. You have to serve from below 1.15 meters from the ground. Otherwise, it will be called a fault. Well, it was great defense from Kalia because he was a big underdog to win that point. Tremendous blocking from the Dutchman. In the end, forced the error. So he's got himself a little advantage here. Six, three. Kalia. Characteristic errors from JRM Seven, early on here. Three. One. Okay, it's the best of three games, but can go against you very quickly. Oh. That's long by distance. Just further evidence that that drift is significant. It's just going to have to. Three. Adjust. For Cario, obviously. He can just put the shuttle a little bit harder. Another example. Just hasn't attuned Nine. to the conditions Three. of the hall yet, JRM. And that's why he's a mile behind now. Once again, 
remarkably delicate touch from the Dutchman. Ten, be a big man, three. but he's got some real subtlety in his armory. Well, he's all over the place, Jeremy. and he goes three. to the chair interval. at the interval. 11-3 behind. I don't think too many would have predicted that. All the evidence suggested this is going to be a fairly close contest, but so far it has been very one-sided. See how far long that was. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Umpire's very strict on getting the players back on court on time. 11, three, play. So Kalia with a sizable lead. <laughs> Service over. Four, eleven. Oh. Halt. Just looks service over the sharper man by a margin at the moment. Twelve, Mark four. Kalia. It's only a few years ago, he was playing in the boys' singles Wait. events. Oh. Won a silver, the European Championships, 2013. Thirteen, four. Much better from Jaron. Just took a bit off that. Just went across it with the racket and fooled his opponent. But he's got to do much more of that if he wants to get back into the match. Let's look at it there. Just sliced across it. It was good placement, too. Service over. 5 13. Now that was much better for Jaron again. It was kind of the bite a bit. He had Kalia on the move throughout the 13. point. Seven, Badminton is again 13. about momentum. You get a run of points going, you can come from a fair way back. Service over. 14 7. Let's get the feeling that Kalyan needed that point. Out. Series of testing overheads from the Indian. Service over. Looks like he might have given himself a bit of a talking to at the interval. He's won five of the eight points they've played since. Eight, 14. But still much to do to get back into his first game. That'll help his cause. Nine. 14. Probably his best performance, other than winning those Dutch Open titles. He got to the Korean Open final a few years ago. Lost to Chen Long. Service over. Excuse me. 10, 14. Oh. <laughs> you can see JRM there. Over. Banging his hand on his head to say, fell for that. 
just as he was on a real roll too. got to within four points a couple of minutes ago. Behram lost his momentum. Maybe he's got it back now, though. Six over 11-16. That is absolutely superb. That was textbook overhead. You could say the depth wasn't great from the Indian, but even so... Great height with the jump smash. And over just couldn't place 17, it any better than that. 11. Just inside the sideline. That's given him 18, a bit of a fillet by the 11. look of it. Just three points away now from taking this opening game. Which seems to have whizzed by. We've been playing. Just over 10 minutes. 19, 11. <laughs> Service over 12. Even with the drift, 19. that was long by a margin. It's a good shot. And is it? Too little, too late for MJ Jayaram. He'll never give up. 13, Sometimes 19. Players do struggle to get over the winning line. But that error gives the Dutchman seven game points. Service over. 20, game point, 13. Whoa. And that'll do game. in double quick time. First game one. Kalyao, who's Kalyao, never Kalyao, beaten. 21, Jaya Ram 13. Takes down the first game, 21-13. And has given the Indian plenty to think about. Just for a moment threatened a recovery after the interval, but it didn't materialise. 12 minutes only for that game. Kalyao is the sixth seed. But even so, Jayaram, you'd say with the slightly better pedigree career-wise, albeit that he's seven years older and just a question really of picking up where he left off in the second game you'd think for Kalyao and even though he's only 23 he's a very experienced badminton player he made his international debut when he was just 17. We do have a very progressive program in the Netherlands Didn't really need much from the coach other than just keep going. He has benefited from a significant number of unforced errors from JRM, but no question he was the better player in that first game. Play. Play. And it will be. Coming out to get a start in game two. Second game, Laval play. Oh. You would think that by his own standards, Jerem has to play better in this second game. It may have been a statement Service of intent, the opening point. One love.
Well, it has been a curious Service egg of a performance, hasn't it, from uh, Jay Ram? That excellent oh. winner, the first point, followed by a completely unforced error. Oh. And another one. Two. This can't afford one. to be frittering away points like this. As Calio will accept them very gratefully. Oh. Quite get that drop shot right. Jay Ram pounced. No uncertain terms. Well, super rally and fitting, it was one in style. Service over. Three, two. It was that excellent angle which gave him the ascendancy in the point and not enough depth from Jay Ram and he was punished. Once again, he, he set up the opportunity wonderfully well and then just couldn't execute. He gave Five, it too much angle, two. pushed it wide. And an early advantage now in this second game for Calio. Oh, that's more like it. That's much more like it. And you can't be a former world number 13 unless you can play a bit. I just haven't seen him anywhere near his best for the majority of this match. Service over. Three, five. That's a problem. Service over. Complete inconsistency. Six, three. Calia will think, well, if I can just stay in the point, the error is likely to come from the other side of the net. Yeah, nicely placed. Slightly wrong-footed his opponent there, JRM. Service over. Four, six. I'm going to give Calio huge credit. Seven, adjusting four. for the drift. You know, he had to just take a little bit off that. And he's three points ahead again. Misjudgment by the Indian. That's wide again. Eight, just look at the body four. language of AJ Jaram. He just looks a little bit dazed. And you wouldn't blame him. 13 points in that first game, and now he's 9-4 nine, nine, behind four. in this one.
Well, a hand of apology. He'll take points any way he can get Service them. Over. Net cord or not. Five, Just had to stop nine. the rot somehow. That was on the line, I think. Six. No challenge nine. from Kalia. We do have Hawkeye, by the way, today. So, players given two challenges too high. per game. And that, well, like I said, is insult to injury. Ajay. Service fault called Wait. against uh, Ajay Jayaram. Service over. And that's Ten. the last thing he needs. Six. Twice now he's infringed, served too high. Like it. Service over. But it's kind Seven, of one step ten. forward and two back at the moment for the Indian. He's only within three points, though, so not out of this yet. Oh, well, you heard Service the groan. Over around the arena and seven once again interval. big favorite to win that point didn't and finds himself 11 7 down at the interval in game two almost incomprehensible that Kalyao should be so much in the ascendancy remember he's never beaten J Ram their two previous meetings and both of those have been fairly convincing victories for the Indian as well so this is uncharted territory court one 20 for Mark seconds out court one 20 seconds and he's three quarters of the way there just needs to hold his nerve for the next seven or eight minutes try and finish the job here 11 7 11 7 Play. Flick serve. <laughs> he might not try that again in a hurry. I think that's the first time over. he's used that tactic. Eight, and, uh, 11. J-Ram saw it coming, just dismissed it from his presence. Fault. Nine, 11. Well, there was a great get in the middle of that rally from J.R.M. And he found the winner to match as well. And now, they're right back in the melting pot in this second game. Just a point between them. Thank you. Went the short side. He went the side that Kalia was covering. Dutchman still couldn't get a racket on it. So is the comeback on here? Service over. Just snatched at that a little bit. Ten. Shot you'd expect him to make nine times out of ten, but he's missed too many of them in this match. It gets tight, which it is already in the second game. Those errors might be the difference. Yeah, that's super touch from Adrian. Service over. Eleven, twelve.
Suddenly, he's on terms at 12 points all. 12 all. Little battle of the drop shots. Just heard the proof, it's amazing how momentum goes. 13, 12. Wouldn't put it past the Indian to run off a series of points here. Not enough depth on that. <laughs> well, <laughs> amazing. He virtually given up, Kalio. He just kind of put his racket up almost as a token gesture. Service over. Got it back, and then JRAM. Just another sitter. All. Don't take anything for granted in this sport. Yeah, well played. On the defensive at that point, 13. the Indian. So he's got the lead back, albeit narrowly. Oh, that, that's uh, a really bad error. Service you'll know over. it. 14. He worked oh. so hard to win the previous point to give it away like that. That overhead at the body. Too good for JRM. Service over. So many coaches say in this 15, kind of situation, he's a game 14. up, 15-14. Temptation is to just think about the finish line. Coaches say no, play at a point at a time. Finish line will look after itself. That is very clever. Service over. Oh, rather flat-footed there, Callio. Jarrett took a lot off that. Oh. Nice deception. Oh, oh, for a horrible moment. He got his bearings wrong there. He was going to actually Service make contact over. with the shuttle with his body, but he got out of the way. He knew it was going wide. Mark, ask quicker. Ask quicker. 16, 15. Back on terms again. Service over. 16. All. Oh. Clear was a little bit short. Superbly done. Absolute textbook. Nothing else Kalio could do. He just literally return it, and he was a sitting duck near the net. Plenty of space for Jerram to find the winner. On court. And he's in front now for the first time in this game. Missed it. Eighteen. For the first time he just 16. looks a little flustered. 
pinpoint this. Halt. 19 16 down, it would have been a big ask for Kenya to come back. But just a point to drift. Service over. 17, 18. Well, it was almost non-stop pressure on the Dutchman there, but he was up to it, up to the task. 18. Unflustered oh. in defence. Potential nail-biting second game here. Play. 18 all. Umpire just getting on Kalyan's case a little bit for delaying. Well, it's a great block from Jam. It really was, because Calio nailed that overhead. I think you can believe it. It came back, but it did. And Jam's just a couple of points away now from leveling up this match. On court. Service over. 19, 18. See the other courts in play there. They'll have four semi finals on court two, and six on our TV court, court number okay. one. Ask quicker. Ask quicker. Oh, he's missed that. It's a chance. Over. Not by much. 19. Top level sport, oh. a game of fine margins. You can't fault his attacking instinct. But wide. Again, he went for too much angle. He could almost see it going through his head there. He knew he'd have match point if he made it. And actually missed it by a fair way. And now, JRM has a game point to level the match. Service over. 20, game point, 19. <laughs> Missed it though. Service over. 20, all. Now, a match point for the Dutchman. Mark, Mark, do not raise your fist towards your opponent. 21, Seemed match a point, harsh. I'm not 20. I'm sure he was trying to rub JRM's face in it, but anyway. It's in, it's in. Hands on hips from Kalia. He was just watching and hoping it would drift long, but it didn't. Quickly. Obviously got to win only two clear points from here. Service over. 20-19. 
21 all. Oh! Well, that was too good. And he set up a second match point now. Service over. He's used that tactic with regularity 22, and great effectiveness 21. at the body of the Indian. One. Can he convert this time? He's done it. He's okay. done it. And that's a great victory for Kelly out. It really is. First time that he's beaten KJ Jaram. At the third time of asking. And warmly appreciated by the crowd inside the Titan Gym. Match one. A little nervy. Kaliao. At the end. 21, 13, 23, 21. Great performance, though, and we will see him tomorrow in the men's final. 35 minutes it took him, and Kaliel is through.